Hello, good evening, good evening, and welcome to another episode of Press Sports Sports Show. I'm Deborah Harris, I'm the host, and I'm the proprietor, and on this episode of Press Sports Sports Show, uh, still talking to more Hammer, sports updates, and I'll say it again, Happy New Year's to everybody out there, hopefully, hopefully everybody had a nice, safe, happy uh, New Year's with the family, good holiday break in 2023, we doing things, we ain't playing around, taking care of business, all that good stuff. But um, much success and um, healthiness and, and love and um, much family for everybody wishes out there because, um, you know, family is much important and uh, health and love and all that good stuff. So let's get into the sports world. Everything ties into it. Demar Hamlin, released from the hospital in Cincinnati, got Sent to you know uh, hospital in Buffalo. Got you know went, went back to home in Buffalo. Got released from that. Doing good. Able to go home. They had to you know run some more tests and all, all that evaluations, everything on that. So healthy, um, much better. Good to be back home. Good enough. Obviously, still got you know things that, you know to, 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 to get uh, better at. Um, we're not talking about football nothing like that. Just health wise, but health is, is, is great enough to be home. You know, be back home, not just at the hospital in Buffalo, we'll be back at his house. So thankful, power prayer is great. That's definitely truly, truly a blessing. Um, thankful for him, uh, you know, getting back to normal, you know, and, 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 and very fast in the earth. There's nothing but power prayer on God. So, um, you know, everything, thoughts and prayers still with him or him and his family. So I appreciate that. And I'm to transition to some other news. Positive news, good news. Bulldogs Fisk University debuted at the first HBCU gymnastics team to compete at the NCAA level uh, in history. So, congratulations to them. They are invited to the. They were competing at the Super 16 Invitational in Las Vegas. Okay, we can get back to the to, to the football for a second. Because uh, I didn't clarify it up on, on, on this show because uh, when I did my other episodes, they didn't, you know, put a stamp, stamp in, seal that this is for sure what, 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 what we're doing to NFL. You know, obviously I was speculating that they will be canceling the game and just moving forward and figuring out other scenarios, for, uh, you know, with, obviously, with, without revisiting the Bengals and the Bills game. Just got canceled and just left that that they're doing, you know, coin flips and neutral sites uh, to figure out, you know, uh, the home field of anything. Now, the Bengals head coach, Zach Teller, he did uh, had to put, put a say in there, let it be known. Well, they was the only they was the only organization that didn't approve of this. All of the 31 teams approved of this. Everybody understands what's going on. Everybody got got that loud and clear. Now, Jack Teller, he understands he's the head coach. And he, he he has to. He feels though he got to speak up for his team. And he got to defend his team because he feels though, and the team feels though, they were the ones that was least taken into consideration in this. They said, you know, for teams that's really directly involved, they feel like they got the short end of the stick of the teams that got involved and. You know, Kansas City, you know, Kansas City lost to both the teams that was playing there and all, all that minutiae and all, all that fine detail, but we don't care. We do not care. NFL don't care because they know their bottom line don't care. The masses don't care. This done shook the world and shook, shook the nation to the fullest. They understand that game is bad mojo. Let's move on from that. Leave, leave it in the bed. Leave it to rest, continue to move on for court and so on and so forth. Uh, everybody knows what's going on. This is bigger than football. Now we obviously coming back to, to, to what it's about, and I know rules got changed on the fly at this go around. Special cases cause, you know, special, special circumstances. This is a special case. Obviously, they do have, have rules in, in, in place going off percentages. But, um, Bottom line, this is, the whole situation is completely different, so I'm not falling in the NFL or none of that. Everybody knows clearly what's going on. 
it just because the Bengals personally feel as though, well, the only ones that really get in the short end of the stink, they saying they probably, they, you know, they, they, and that probably they're saying they're, you know, they're, and their feelings is not being taken into consideration at all or not on the same level as the other teams that's directly involved. Um, you're not going to get no sympathy from, from me, First Watch Sports Show, nor the rest of the nation. They know that. They just had to say something to say something to, you know, I guess, uh, show, show, show their players something, but their players, come on, man. They was on the field. They know what, what took place. Let's just call it what it is. So, that's what we got right there. And, uh, continue to move forward. Because, uh, they just gotta stop that. So, we done with that. Moving forward. Okay. All you gotta do is win. Take care of business. Play on neutral sites. This is what it is. No, it's not, you know, maybe not be right for the fans. They, you know, season ticket holders that, you know, have the, the playoff package of the, of the season tickets they were really good at. You know, all the time for and everything like that. And they got to do a ticket wrap or whatever to see how they're going to go to the weather venue that, that's going to be taking place. This, so, like, well, major, major events hits our world. You know, things are subject to change, and you adjust and adapt and continue to move forward. Obviously, we'll get back to regular schedule program the next go around. That's all we're saying. That's all we're saying. And feel free, if anybody, you know, you want to talk about that or you want to chime in about that, please, please, definitely call in to the First Bar Sports Show, 717 846 5067. Anybody want to, you know, discuss some things that, I, that I'm talking about, especially if we're going to, uh, this situation in the NFL with the, with the game, uh, please call in the Fresh Sports Sports for 717 846 5067. Live, of course, you know, we're doing this live Thursday, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., every Thursday on the local community access channel. Check Fresh Sports Sports Show out. Now, we are going to continue to move on to KED being out for two weeks with the spring uh, MCLs. Just wanted to throw that in there. Also, beyond, boxing, Giante Davis, TKO. Hector Lewis Garcia. Uh, also, Earl Spence fight in the key tournament, uh, Keith tournament for the B, the PBC uh, championship in April. Junior middleweight fight. Now, Earl Spence is supposed to be fighting Terrence Crawford. Like, what's going on with that? That was supposed to be a done deal fight. Everybody was believed to be, uh, was led to believe that was going to be done. Terrence Crawford got win that that's not happening, so he got to get, get a fight in the four years out. Now, Phil Spence had to fight another fight. Oh, uh, well, he's getting to fight another fight. Like, what's going on here? Why are these guys not fighting each other? How long are we going to keep waiting for this Earl Spence and uh, Terrence Crawford fight? Like, we've got to get this now. Like, stop playing around. You know, Ryan Garcia and, uh, to the Davis, they they, they, they work in working their this situation. Now, hopefully, we get that in April. But um, obviously, we're not getting Karen Crawford and Earl Spencer in April. But please, do it this year. If we cannot get it better, you know, uh, around September or something. Like, please, that was give us a break, man. Gosh, we need this fight. Karen Crawford, Earl Spencer. Don't don't let it be a Manny Pacquiao ploy. Was a little too late. And y'all know took Terrence Crawford, he, 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 you know, not saying he's on the downside, but he's definitely getting up during age. So there ain't no work for him to go butt butt down. He don't got, you know, the the um, the age on his side like Earl Spence. We need to make that happen. Boxing World, get that happening. Broncos, uh, the Denver Broncos request and received permission to interview uh, Sean Payton, Saints head coach that retired from the Saints and they got the race to his contract so everybody got good permission and asked them to can they interview him because he has, you know, Saints has their right. Um, so that's what's going on. And we're going to see that he, he got an eye on that L.A. job, the, uh, the Chargers. So um, they need to be mindful if they lose this weekend. The head coach will definitely be replaced. I, I, I foresee that coming. Since that, um, that's, that, that's the scuttlebuck that's going on. It, it, it ain't too much a secret. 
You know, I know he got the interview with the Denver Broncos, but you know he living out there in L.A., close to the to the facility, all that good stuff. And I know he works for the Fox Studios and all that, you know, but hey, that's just what's going on. Being uh, NFL, uh, excuse me, Air Force says 21-year-old Office alignment. Hunter Brown died after experiencing a medical emergency on the way to class. That took place Monday. So we could uh to, to to him and his family. Uh prayers with his family. Tough time right now. Just imagine just losing a child um, on the way to class. Like that. It's, it's crazy. Um, also wanted to come back to the NFL real quick. Rams, Sean McVay, the head coach of the Rams, saying after this, you know, well, you know, after the weekend, uh, after the game, he's gonna take some time to figure out what we want to do with future because obviously he always expressed so much that uh, being an NFL analyst is, was always in his future plans, but uh, thinking maybe having nothing, you know, you know, like about 37 years old, might take a little breaky break and. Uh, be a little analyst for probably about 10, 15 years, something like that. John Green and Style come back. Not 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 crazy like John Green, but I'm just saying take that Ellen gap and come back, maybe do something like that. Maybe or maybe money to be so, so you know so good and it's just so nice that and then stress free that you can say, hey, I'm just gonna be just doing this TV media thing. You know, uh John McVay, you got that another book. I know, you know, money's good with playing the NFL, but you you know, you do your thing in the media sector, you, 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 you're running to that, to that bag that you're looking for, uh, that, that you have right now, you know, you'll, you'll get that in the media. Uh, you know, somebody like Sean Bebeck, all his knowledge and you know, his personality and all that. Broncos. Everything knows this is coming down to Russell Wilson next year. And I've got to get back to that. Russell Wilson, you get Sean Payton. Ain't no excuses, but I'm saying not even Sean Payton. I don't even say just Sean Payton. Get somebody with that that status. I don't even got to be a champion, but a champion for real for real to deal with somebody on the on the better status that's well accomplished, such as Russell Wilson. But you get a a, a coach that's running the show for real for real and is well respected and uh. This is his organization, it's not short organization no more. You know the rule waking if you ain't um, gonna be improving your game now. I love what I saw took place on this past Sunday. Love what I saw took place this last Sunday. We won't get to, to the recap. But this next season is all on Russell Wilson. There are no more excuses. Cause after the, what you display this year, if you don't have no bounce back next year, we already gonna know what it's there for. You're on the downside decline and you most likely might not be a starter no more. In the league, if you play back to back season right, which you just played this year, like they're going, what, 5 and 12? Oh, good. And I got y'all in the Super Bowl going against the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and everything like that. Come on, man. <sighs> yeah, that was atrocious this performance but, uh, that took place all season long. It's mainly from you. Because you're going to rub off on the team and stink the team up so bad. Got the defense looking pathetic out there. And, and, and the receivers sometimes because you were throwing interceptions and all that. And you just being bad, Russ. That was it was bad this year. It was not some pretty football for Russell Wilson. But I'm not gonna go out on them next year. I hate too much praise on them. I hate too much pressure on them. I did all that. That's my mistake. That's my fault. I apologize, Russell Wilson. I put too much pressure on you. I went and, 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 and told the world, go bet and go bucket. Buccaneers, Broncos, my Super Bowl preseason picks. Off the rip. He got that Tom Brady gonna do what he do. He's gonna get in the playoffs. He he he's he, he doing his his Tom Brady thing. You know what I'm saying? He 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 there in the in the playoffs. Y'all didn't even make it to the playoffs, nowhere near the close. We had a better shot than make the playoffs. We came just from a hair chin chin chin. We're gonna get to that. But man, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, Russell Wilson, step the game up. Step the game up. Be better. Next year, definitely be better. 
Rumor, a former MMA fighter, Phil Barney, charged with aggravated uh, femicide and girlfriend's death in Mexico when uh, he will be re uh, re remain in, I'm going to bust this Mexican state, and I'm going to bust it, Venezuela, uh, Venezuela, Quanzilla, State jail and till trial starts in six months. Sorry, I botched the last. Sorry, I botched the the Mexican city name. I'm sorry. He's in New Mexico, Mexico City, uh, State jail. Sorry, I botched the botched the name because I, I I had the pronunciation right earlier. Now I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just botching it. Sorry about that. My apologies. Uh, don't have nobody man to tell me. And if I recap from 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 uh, this season finale. Man, the he came and, and went so fast. It was beautiful. I mean, it was special, at least for my, my, my team. I mean, you know, all season long, it was, it was crazy events that occurred. All, all, all season long, you know, we just documented everything all season long. It was fresh, fresh, fresh. It was crazy events that, that, that occurred all season long. But, man, it, like, came at you fast in a hurry. It's just like, yo, football was just here in September, and now it's gone. Beginning of January, boom, just like that. That's how I feel. And it just was like two and a half months, it seemed like, of football. It just came at you every week. Baby, we had football Monday, Thursday, Sunday. Then we got the game, you know, the later in the season, so I get some games on Saturday. <coughs> games. Munching. Games in London. Games in everywhere. You name it. I'm like, this is beautiful. It was beautiful. It's over, man. Yeah, I'm sad because, you know, it's breaking my heart. You know, my still is being in the, being in the, in the playoff run. I wanted to know where my still is going because, you know, uh, we, we did have the W. We did get to the W. We won't get to that. We did get to the, we, uh, we did get to the W. But I'm like, man, it breaks my heart when we got in the playoffs. This was some bull crap. Speaking my language, man, I'm telling you, man, I ain't like it at all, man. I ain't like it at all. Like, this is really ridiculous. We did our part. We did what we, what we could do. We had a better season than most expect. Nobody thought we was going to be having a winning season. Nobody went in to say we were going to be 8 and 9. We came out that thing 9 and 8. Mike Tomlin ain't never had no losing season ever. But I ain't even worried about that, really. Cause I would have been happy being seven and nine in the playoffs, seven and ten in the playoffs if we could. I ain't worried about the percentiles if I could get up in that dance and make something shape. You know? That's where I'm at with it. I wanted to get in the playoffs, but I didn't have any winning season. I would have been cool eight and nine and that would have gotten us into the playoffs. To be nine and eight. And then sitting out late. You know what I'm saying? So let's get on former bro uh Browns quarterback Brady Cole's out there. Brown. So so Pulled from the team's pregame radio show after admitting that he betted on the Browns versus the Steelers game. Now check this out. He said he betted 19K. Ooh, we had a 19K to bet so purposely on the Browns to win, which he knew that was never going to happen. It was a we must win to even have a, even a chance to even a hope to even wonder and even dream to even think about getting in the playoffs. We must win. All these last, what, four games straight in a row? What was it? Uh, uh, well, that's four, four games straight in a row. I believe it was six out of the last seven that we won. Yeah, like that. We went on a little run right there. And we needed that. Obviously, we needed a couple things to happen our way. We just came down to one of that scenario. But this guy going to You look, you both know on football. You're a former quarterback. You know what it takes. You know things that doesn't play with the ball. What makes you think you're in the right line? You know that uh, we playing for something. Y'all ain't playing for nothing. Y'all trying to play for spoiler, but that, that, that's the only motivation. I don't want to do so much. We actually playing for something. It wasn't a situation where, uh, you know, you, 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 you already in the playoffs regardless, so you, you just trying to play for home, home, home field advantage or, or, or seasons or something like that. Nah. It wasn't about that situation. We need to get a little lax a couple of We was locked in. We was locked in. Teed a lot over there doing this thing. 
Neither says Patrick's best safety in the league. Cam Sutton over there, cornerback, he's stepping up. He's showing proof. He's done his thing. Um, doing Cam Hayward doing Cam Hayward things. Like, what are we talking about here? Like, really? You talk about boys on the defense side wasn't going to show up? You know, the, the defense has been carrying us all season long. If it wasn't for the defense, we would not be having the record that we have. We would not have been in, in all the games that we would. We had the most single point uh, games all season long. All of you know, the games, we had the most close games that everybody, because it was ugly. We were winning ugly games. Defense. Still it's football. Y'all know this thing there. Run the ball, stop the run. We just gonna start those two things and then let everything else work out for each other. Let's make sure that we can run the ball and move some chains. Now they Harris to keep doing some chains. So doing too many tandem. You can cut Jalen Warren. We was doing uh, you know, that nice rookie coming in, uh, helping us out. We start averaging 150. Yeah, 200 yards, uh, total rushing, rushing for the game. We can't pick it. Uh, he, 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 he's scrambling. You know, he's not throwing nothing crazy or anything like that, but he's doing one of the football things. And he's on his ground. Drift through the pickings. Uh, he, he, he's drawing. Big mistake let my guy Chase Clay pull for bro. That breaks my heart, truly. That Chase Clay will cool come back. I don't care. That Chase Clay will come back. We need somebody like that. We need the big, fast style with the top receiver that can be changing and uh, put a covers on the top and go up and get that thing in the red zone and all that good stuff get the jump balls. Big, fast receiver, you know. I, we, we, we need that. These miniature guys that we got over there, and, and, and you know, Georgia Pickens, he, 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 he's taller than Deontay Johnson. But that's it. I think that would have worked with the, with the play squad. I think that would have worked with, with the antenna. Now, let's, uh, let's bring it back to the to, to four circle. Running cool sir. He's up at 19K on the Browns to, to win against the Steelers. He knew that wasn't going to happen. But he going to say he was going to take the winnings and donate to charity. I mean, this stuff is just unbelievable, man. This stuff is unbelievable. You know you're doing stuff that's going to cost you your job, then you want to have take the winning to, 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 to a charity. So you think you're going to keep that job at? You know? Nah, dude, that was going to work like that. And they're going to be like this. Man, they look crazy. That's why they did that. They did it. You know what? Go home, we're going to figure everything out. Let's go home, we're going to figure everything else out. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure he'll be done the... Uh, uh, done doing any type of radio gig that he had affiliated with uh, the Browns. Uh, now, Browns sent home Dean Giovanni and Cleland. Didn't show for the game, obviously. He was criticizing the team and won't, and playing the team when we, uh, you know, came on not to return back to the Browns for the next season. Even uh, Miles Garrett was just confused. Uh, Jamie Fallon was just, um, you know, being that way. But Steelers, we won 28-14 over the Browns. Finished with a 9-8 record for the season. Don't we do. But Dolphins losing. I mean, Dolphins winning. Excuse me. I wish I had lost. We need the Dolphins lose. Dolphins win 11-6 over the Jets. The Jets, man, didn't help us out. No way we on that at all. And the Jets beat us. And then and, and that's why he hurts even mad. Better on the even mad. Just beat us. We would have been beat them. Obviously, when it, it would have came down to that foot, obviously, the record would have been, been uh, 10, 10 and 7. So, just lose to the Dolphins. We needed, that, that was an ugly game. That was an ugly, terrible game. And it just it was crazy, man. But back to our regular schedule program. Steelers should have uh, challenged. The Najee Harris touchdown run. He kept the knee up. We know that. Then we, the quarterback don't get him. Then Najee Harris, he's trying to jump so, oh, oh, and, and, and over the towel and, and fumbles the ball. Well, you know, our defense started out the great stuff. So we did. Um, then both, then the booth and room reveal uh, Georgia Pickens to catch toe tap. On the sideline, that thing was in. Those things was in. The booth was going to review that. The booth didn't review that. What's going on with the rest playing with my guy Cam Hayward? He's losing all type of respect out there. They is three calling these phantom calls on Cam Hayward. These, 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 these last couple games. I don't know what's going on. I'm not liking it. Football is really a game of wills. You tackle your man down, or or, or you push your man, uh, you know, push your man, whatever. 
You're doing making a, a man do something against his will. You know, that, 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 in the simplest form, that's what football is. The battle of wills. You know, the offensive line. You know, one side pushing each other, the other side pushing back. Who, you know, whose will is going, going to be stronger, essentially, what it is. It. And even the tackling. A guy, Deshaun Watson, he has it around his waist. He does not want to be going down. He stands, he, 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 he stands his ground, he wants to stand tall, he wants to, he wants to live it, he wants to live and let the, the play stay alive and, you know, uh, keep the thing going. So he's not willing to go down to the ground. He's going to fight and stand his ground. So other than me taking my body weight and forcing him down on the ground with my body weight, I have to essentially throw him down into the ground. Cam Hayward guys are by the way slams him down to the ground and they phone call up in the passing for what? Deshaun Watson was not trying to go down. He was trying to bring him down, like not forcefully to you know to he saw he's not going down, so he had to give him a little extra little swing to give him go down, I'm tackling you. It's not a flag. It's not this dumb little pro bowl game that y'all put the put flags on the quarterback, that's what we're doing. If you guys just go over to the quarterback and, and, and hold him and whisper, yo, can you go down, please? Can you go down right now, please? Because they don't, you, you, you take them down by, by, by force, but yeah, it's always going to be by force because the quarterbacks don't want to go down. They got some quarterbacks that, that don't want to contact, you know, Tom Brady, 46 years old, he's playing the game. He's going to go down easier. He's not, he, he, he's not trying to be fighting too much. That's different. But these young boys, these, these young kids, these young guys that's, you know, 20s, Fifty all, all the quarterbacks in twenty. They 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 gonna they gonna be fighting. Now you get the quarterbacks in thirties. Russell Wilson stuff. He might he might go down a little easier. But I'm saying these guys is not willing to go down easy. That's what it's not about. So that was some bull. That was BS, I believe. And I just don't I, I don't like uh, what football's turning to, when, especially when it comes to the, to, to the quarterback. Now we understand what took place with Demar Hamlin. Understand that, but that's not that. Come on, the football. You got you got to tackle at the end of the day. And he, 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 he's a defensive player. He, 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 when he, all the guys that everybody knows, he wants everybody to play football out there. I mean, football, it, you, they, everybody knows what it is. It's hard hitting out there. It's, it's, it's hitting. And then there's a battle of wills, especially tackling. A person don't want to be tackled. It's going to be hard to take him down without, without, without using a force. Sheesh. All right, so Sean Watson. 230 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, seven sacks. We was getting after him. We was getting after him. Who was a plan around him? Six carries, 44 rushing yards. Nick Chubb, 12 carries, 77 rushing yards, five interceptions, 45 uh, yards receiving, one touchdown. Cooper, two receptions, 51 yards. Pickett, 195 yards, one touchdown, one sack. Derrick Watt, one rushing touchdown. Uh, that's the first rushing touchdown in the career, matter of fact. Najee Harris, 23 carries, 84 rushing yards, one touchdown, uh, one reception, 10 yards. And still is as a team, 37 carries, 148 rushing yards for an average of 4.0 every carry, 22 yards long was the longest running yard. Uh, Pickman, three receptions, 72 yards, one touchdown. Johnson, two receptions, 38 yards, zero touchdowns, all season long, unacceptable. Go all, all, all season long, zero touchdowns, unacceptable. I already said I like the yards, I understand when you need yards, but I'm going to need my guys to score. I like touchdowns even more than yards. I don't care about the yards over my touchdowns. You understand me? You need to score to win. I don't care about the yards. If it comes over my touchdowns, you understand me? I need my touchdowns or I wave the yards every time. I need my touchdowns. Give me all these yak and yak, all these yards, 20-20s. Hey, 10 into 2 and 10. 5 and 25, but you ain't getting into the end zone, going to the byline. Man, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. This cannot happen. No, he's not the number one. No, he's not. Great number two. Great number two. Got number one potential, but going off season long, getting no touchdowns, dang, that's not number one. That's not number one behavior you do. Number one don't do that. Number one, you go score. 
Man, we had games come down to the, to, to, to the wire just like that one. Because he wasn't scoring. We lost some games. Eight of them. Because he wasn't scoring. So the nation, come on. So the nation stand up. All right, uh, TFY, three tackles, one sack. We could fit better than 10 tackles doing this thing. Katie and Lee Bob both in the session are beautiful. Uh, I love it. And what are we going to do with the office coordinator, Matt Canada? I hope they get rid of him, to be honest, if you want to be crazy. I know Mike Tyler's are like, uh, these gurus coming in, these office gurus coming in here, and then, then, then getting so much shot, and then, get, you know, that's some, you know, some, some insecurities and things that he, he, he got to deal with. Feeling like they get some shot, and they might come take his job, but Mike Tyler, you're stable, and you've been around for a while. You good. You very good. You, you great. But, Get a great offensive coordinator, please. Everybody got to be a young barrel breed that wants his wants the head coach you get. Let him let him get a shine. Let him get a shine, and then uh, maybe you could build up a system and get yeah, got somebody under him to be able to take over once you know you you help grow, help grow him, give him that allow him to shine, so he can get a head coaching job somewhere else. And you know before he's running that, like he's gonna be you know take your job. Like the, get a great office coordinator. In there. That's one thing that. I, I, you know, I follow my team closely. I, 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 I know these little details. I know these things. Trust, trust, trust me and, and, and believe what, I, what I'm saying. He don't want the office of Guru truly over there, you know, getting so much credit because he knows in the dynamic how things might, to, you know, be interpreted, how things might come to play. He's trying to avoid that type of thing. Uh, get some of these old guys and look to be head coach. Guys that have been around for a while that, you know, might not be too, you know, very, very, very notorious and, um, you know, just, you know, just comfortable, just in a, in, in a position. And quite frankly, uh, just being so so about the job, just basic, just average. Nah, that, that fast goal got changed. That, that offense was huge. It was pathetic. So, I mean, I understand the quarterback situation. I know the receivers was doing what they was doing this, this season. But we had pieces on receivers and the running backs and tight ends for our fire to even some things up better and just do some things better that they were really doing. It was ugly on the offensive side. It made the games be ugly. <sighs> so that's a whole lot of one balls to that. Also, still is picked number 17 in the draft, so I appreciate it. We can go snatch a cornerback, a true D D lockdown cornerback, man, man, lockdown cornerback, preferably six foot six two with some speed, some size, somebody like Deion Sanders, Kyle John. You know that'd be great. That'd be ideal. But uh, realistically, you know, just uh. I, I need to remember, you know, whatever. At this point, whatever, you know, obviously we get a lot of good little guys, but whatever size and frame it comes in, uh, we need a true number one man, man, lockdown cornerback. Please help my defense out and solidify that. Because you're not going to give me another quarterback. You're not getting, you know, you're not getting another quarterback, even if you're getting that, you know, 17 year old, you ain't getting nobody good. So, what, you're going to draft another receiver? All right, I know what we do, but we ain't got the receiver in the first round. We're going to get number two, number three, things like that. So I know we expect to get the receiver in round number two and number three. Offensive watch, you, you know, help somebody solidify the line. You, you, you could do that in, you know, round three at least, or even round two. But I, still, is, can we get a true number one cornerback? Southern Nation, am I wrong? Somebody stand up. Somebody say something, please. All right, let's get let the, uh, it was just, hey. It was the season finale. Still is in the playoff. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find a way to talk about my, show, my, my, my team and other shows, but you, this is pretty much a little difficult. This is the last game I gotta recap till next season of my my show. So you know you're gonna get plenty of still talk right now. You definitely getting plenty of still talk. So uh, that's what we're doing. But so the nation, keep your head up high. Get in the off season, get get some, uh, get some rest, get some recovery, get some family time. And get better. Everybody get better. Yeah, we do, do all those things. Get some rest, get some relaxation, get some family time. But everybody get better. Everybody get better. Moving on. Hey, Steelers. Chiefs 
31-13, Raiders. Raiders is sorry. They ain't got Derek Carr doing goodbye messages uh, today, so because you already know it was it was a good both time. It was it was touching though. It was touching, but you done had a person and you think that everybody at both organizations, Oakland and Las Vegas, all that good stuff. He's a class act guy. He's a good guy. He is a good guy. And he knows. You know, he has some good folks and not so good folks. You understand that. You know, he's just an average player. Let's be frank. He's just an average player. Maybe slightly above average, but when I mean average is like no results in the playoffs. Maybe doing some good enough numbers to not allow you to be a high draft pick, things like that. Uh, wasn't giving winning seasons or like that. Uh, but I, I'm not going to for Ray too much. You know, he had a good, uh, he, 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 you know, uh, re- re- retirement speech. I know he's not retiring, but it was definitely sound like a retirement speech. He's retired to that situation. So he said he wanted to be a Raider forever, but obviously he still wants to play and look forward to his next challenge and for his next team. But uh, hopefully he knows. He's definitely going on for a backup role, and he lucky they let him know he's in competition. You heard? I'll tell you what I know. He's lucky he be going into somebody's organization as a backup role, and he definitely better be counted as a lucky starter if they say that you actually can compete for the starting job. Because uh, we saw the work that he did, the day he displayed out there, and he had what some would say, not me. I never called him the best receiver in the league. I said that, you know. And I didn't see more, but some would say he's the best receiver in the league, or they thought they was until, you know, they were just, just four speed and Devontae Adams, and they still doing what they were doing out there. Nothing. Jaguars 2016 over the Titans. Dobbs 179 yards, one touchdown, one interception, four sacks, five carries, 32 rushing yards. Henry 30 carries, 109 rushing yards, one reception, 19 yards. Trevor Lawrence 22. 212 yards, one touchdown, one sack, four carries, negative three rushing yards, eh. and then you got Kirk Cousins, oh, I'm sorry, not Kirk Cousins, uh, Christian Kirk, excuse me, Christian Kirk, six receptions, 99 yards, and one touchdown. Falcons, 30-17, over the Buccaneers, now me, Waju, Tom Brady, and the boys only played the first quarter, you know, just to get your feet wet a little bit, just wanted to let you know. And Panthers, Seven, I mean, excuse me, Panthers 10, 7 over the Saints, Seahawks 19, 16 over the Rams, and OT, Bills 35, 23 over the Patriots. DeMar Hamlin was all in the atmosphere, all the euphoria of the DeMar Hamlin effect. I'm telling you, it was all over the. Over the kickoff. Naheem Hines, 96 yard return touchdown play on the first play of the game for the Bills. A la uh, Devin Hester, open the play of uh, the Super Bowl kickoff, running back for the touchdown. Sure, make that. Nine I'm glad he did that for the uh, for, for Demar. I'm, I'm glad he just let every you know everything just work in and just motivated him and just took off on him. Then he come back later in, in the game with a hundred, hundred. I mean, hundred and one yard. Uh, you know, kickoff return for the touchdown. Got two kickoff returns for the touchdowns in that game. Unbelievable. And uh, Mac Jones, 243 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions, one sack, four carries for uh, five rushing yards. You can't win like that. Three touchdowns, three interceptions, one sack. Come on, man. Josh Allen, 254 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, two sacks, nine carries, 16 rushing yards. Stephon Day, seven receptions, 104 yards, one touchdown. Vikings, 29, 13 over the Bears. Cousins, 225 yards, one touchdown. Jefferson, four receptions, 38 yards. Peterman, 114 yards, one touchdown, one sack, two carries, seven rushing yards. Chase Claypool, two receptions, 29 yards. Come on, Chase Claypool. Come on, back. Come back to the Phillies. Bengals, 27, 16 over the Ravens. I thought that like I do just went take care of the business. Texans, 32, 31 over the Colts. Texans seem like they, uh, oh, okay. Texans, after they did that, they held Mary. They scored a touchdown, went for two, and the win. Texans it seemed like they fired Lovey Smith, the head coach, for winning. So he said on the way out, take that. They ain't getting the number one draft pick. They're not the number one draft pick on the Bears because y'all make sure these boys going to win. We're going for the win. We're going for the Hail Mary. Going for the two and the win. And we're not, we're not getting the, the number one draft pick. And they're going to fire him. Like, come on. They were never going to do nothing. Look at, look at the team they got. They never was going to do nothing. 
Mills, 298 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, one sack, six uh, rushing yards. Cooks, five receptions, 106 yards, one touchdown. Sam, 29 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, two sacks, five carries, 21 rushing yards. Sack, 18 carries, 114 rushing yards, one touchdown, three receptions, seven yards. Broncos, 31, 28 over the Chargers. Herbert, 273 yards, two touchdowns, one sack, one negative rushing yard. Keenan, eight receptions, 102 yards, two touchdowns. Russell Wilson, 283 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, two sacks, eight carries, 18 rushing yards. That's how you ball, you do it like that. And you got Jerry Judy balling, five receptions, 154 yards, three carries, 39 yards. He was doing it like that to them. Eagles, 22-16 over Giants Webb. 168 yards, one touchdown, six carries, 41 rushing yards, one touchdown. Hurts, uh, first game back from shoulder injury, 229 yards, one interception, three sacks, nine carries, 13 rushing yards, 1.4 uh, on the average. That was, that was ugly. AJ Brown, four reception, 95 yards. 49ers, 38, 13 over the Cardinals. JJ Watt, final game, five tackles, two sacks on his way out of the final game. Purdy, 178 yards, three touchdowns, four sacks, four carries, seven rushing yards. Christian McCarthy, 10 carries, 45 rushing yards, three receptions, 34 yards, one touchdown receiving. Um, also, definitely didn't get to stay, stay this. Let me, let me bring this back real quick. You did know um, after that game, Cardinals fired head coach Cliff Kingsbury. They just gave him a max contract. Last year, I mean, I'm uh, sorry, uh, basically, uh, uh, contract extension last year, and the GM stepped away um, as a, you know, as a result of just uh, everything that's going on. Now, my thing is checking me out right here when I say this. Kyler Murray, you listen to Kyler Murray, you listen. This is all on you, Kyler Murray. You know that. And it's crazy how that in the situation even happened because you, you brought him there because that was your man. That was your man's 50 grand. You know, y'all both brought, y'all brought each other there. You know, I want to go to the league, right? All right, well, I'm, I'm trying to be the number one pick because I'm, I'm trying to get my money right. Well, you, you know, say you say, 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 you know, say you want me, you want the job, get the job. I'm going to Tyler Murray. We're going to run the system. I wanted to get him to college, run the system. The system is made for him. I made the system for him. Man, they made one system for him. Because whatever system they're doing, that's telling me for him. And they got the relationship that they got like that, and they're doing that. Like, they just be doing good, and then they fall clip. Now, excuse me, obviously they, some things they're doing. Now, obviously some things they're doing is working, because like they say, they do good and fall clip. But for the most part, they're not going to do nothing. They only make the playoffs one time. I mean, like, uh, and Kyler, and Kyler Murray took Kingsbury run. So, Kyler Murray, there's next year, so well, you, you're a little guy, you're a little man. What, they list him at 5'10", being nice, he's really 5'9". Let's do it like this. Kyler Murray, you got the bag, you got the money, you got all of what, the $41 million guarantee on a yearly basis for the next four or five years. Now, I only have to believe 190 of that guarantee don't hold me to it, maybe 189. It ain't 230 like uh, Deshaun Watson. You do know when they, you know, what's that available for them to get it off of you and no more guaranteed contract, and you don't perform it good, you already know they're going to get up off of you. So whether it's this year or the next year, you know, this coming season, or they got one more year with the organization, or two more years with the organization, but it ain't no more two more years, it ain't more than two years, then they can get a ball for you without, you know, the money guaranteed, being guaranteed. You know, that's how they find the new shirt with the NFL, guys not being known on the roster about to start a new year league, and they be able to get cut and release without owing them the money, all, all of that. You don't the time clock. You got a two-year time clock. Just know that. Because you, 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 you're a little guy. And you're getting banged up and you're getting hurt and you're not being able to be having that same speed to get away from the defenders, you're going to keep getting hurt. He's going to keep getting hurt. I'm just being realistic. And those big bodies just tackling you, falling on you, all that, you're going to take a toll. Let's continue. Washington, 26 6 or the Cowboys. Cowboys, this is in Dak Prescott. That was ugly. That was ugly. Y'all going to end the season like that and then carry that momentum into the playoffs? Man, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all just. Don't know how to act. Then y'all Cowboys be, fans be acting like y'all going to be doing something. And the players don't be doing anything out there displaying stuff on a consistent basis or on a high level. 
to let y'all know that we for real. Cal Weave ain't never for real. Cal Weave ain't never for real since the, 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 the 95, back in the days, the 90s when they won. The three in a row, the, you know, not three in a row, but the 92, 94, 95, all, all that. But ever since that, them days is over with. They not doing nothing. And sad to say, Jerry Jones got too much uh, imprint on that. He didn't let football people come in there and run football things. Come on, and Mike McCarthy coach thing and all that stuff, man. This is this is lobby now. You got Kevin Moore again, gave you know request for injuries. That thing said you know it's gonna fall apart. You got you know Quinn over there. That, that, that thing is gonna fall apart. And God is not gonna be waiting under no Mike McCarthy. He should have been the coach anyway. Should have gave it to somebody else. About the relationship, y'all need to let a head coach come in there and run the show. GM, true GM, run the show. Accordingly, football people. We know Jerry uh, is a football guy. He knows football, but come on now. Get, you know, get a little past his age, and meaning as, you know, the times have changed, and you got to learn how to adjust into that and maneuver how they maneuver in uh, the, the new school way, and how this, things just change is just different. Meaning, coaches, players, relationships, certain things, players going to, uh, player, certain things that players need from a coach to help bring uh, the max level of talent out of them or the max level of effort out of them or the max level of execution out of there on the, on the floor, like all that. So, you know, certain coaches can bring a little extra out, out, out of certain players if they have that relationship with them, you know, they have the connection, uh, that connection with them. So, they got to change that stuff a little bit because um, I'm going to give it, give it to Cat, I, 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 you know, give the Cat, cat out the bag right now, but uh, you think I'm picking the Cowboys to beat um, Tom Brady and Buck in the end, and the Buck and Tom Brady? Man, y'all, 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 y'all tripping. And Tom Brady got the boys fired up, and he'd be mad letting everybody know about the season. He's letting everybody know on the on, on, uh, Buccaneers how bad it was this season, all the improvements they got to do. There's no more getting, you know, not, you know, there's no more next week. It's when to stay in. It's, you got to be executing at a high level from get go, start to finish. You know, let, you know, Tom Brady, I'm pretty sure he's going to make sure all his guys on his P's and Q's, at least on the offensive side, uh, they're going to have to make sure that defense is on, on, par, on par, ready to go. Like, um, you know, there's some slippages a little bit, but defense, make sure they're ready to go. Tom Brady going to make sure the offense is ready to go. I think he'll be able to take care of um, the Cowboys. <sighs> so, anyways, uh, Tony, Cowboys as a team, I want to tell you, uh, Dak, 14 for 37. 128 yards, one touchdown, one interception, one sack, seven carries, uh, 19 rushing yards. Cowboys as a team, 27 carries, 64 yards, 2.4 average on every run, zero touchdown, nine yards is the longest run. Sam Howe was the starting quarterback for the Washington football team, 169 yards, one touchdown, one interception, three sacks, five carries, 35 rushing yards, one touchdown. Terry Three receptions, 74 yards, one touchdown. Lions 20 uh, to 16 over the Packers. Lions keep, uh, oh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, Lions, they kept the Packers out of the playoffs with the, the win over the, over the Packers. Lions, Mont said, uh, we're not getting in, y'all not getting in either. Williams, 16 carries, 72 yards, uh, two touchdowns. Golf, 224 yards, one sack, two carries, five rushing yards. Aaron Rodgers, 25 yards, one touchdown, one interception, two sacks, three carries, 10 rushing yards. Christian, uh, five receptions, 104 yards. That was the recap from the NFL finale. Now, I want to give you um, the, I guess, I've been rattling the whole time. I didn't get a shout out to my spot. You need fresh gear, fresh clothing, go to Cash Baby Clothing Brand. You need fresh gear, fresh clothing, go to Cash Baby Clothing Brand. You need the event plan to go to Rock Production Events. You need the event plan to go to Rock Production Events. Intro music, Jody Blow music. And you know, just got a little uh, JRA on support my man, Jenna Rose. He's just catting me out there in Detroit. Detroit. Uh, make sure you're getting, you know, get back to the community, give him back to the block for real. You know, Jenna Rose, take him out. Jenna Rose, he's just catting me. That's what he do. Guys on the school out there, fans doing it, part of LeBron James and all that stuff. Been giving back to the community. And it's uh, public free, charge at school, it's tuition free, all, 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 all that good stuff, you know. Uh, he's really giving back, you know, uh, I believe it's K-12 or, no, no, uh, uh, middle school through, through, uh, through, through 12, yeah, middle school through 12, and uh, he helps people um, after, uh, he helps the students after um, 12th grade graduation, he, he adopted a, 
a nine through what do you call it a nine through sixteen model where it's four to four years after uh, you know investing in, in his uh, graduates four years after um you know high school graduation so that's that's great and unique so definitely check him out J jalen rose leadership academy on jalen rose major league baseball claudius Correll passed his physical signs 2100 million dollar contract six years with uh, um with the twins to return with the twins deals with the G giants and the mets fell through because of physical man and man playing around with money 300 million dollars and stuff and came back down to 20 million dollars and Man, that's a whole world, 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 world. but that that dude gives him like what eighty five million dollars in the centers or something like that, about eighty five million dollars in the centers. But man, he wish he could pass that. that dude. <laughs> man, three hundred plus, uh, three thirty. Man, I need to pass that physical so bad, so much. So now I need to pass that physical. He's gonna take a couple of dollars off. I need that three hundred. <laughs> and but man, that that whole situation was was a man. It was hard to keep up. One week was this, one week was that, and the next week was this. I'm like, man, what about that? Okay, um, Tua has not passed concussion protocol and won't play Sunday uh, Dolphins uh, game. Coach uh, McDaniel announced Wednesday. Uh, I hope he, I, I hope he wouldn't think that like he would have been going back in there. They should have been holding up. Come on, man, really trying to, you know, do a little chess match, but you know. All the concussions, he needs to worry about his health for real, for real, whether he needs to be playing football anymore. It's great. He needs to dwell on that and figure that out. Ponder on the pond that. That's all that two need to be doing. Y'all don't need to be trying to convince him to do nothing because this is serious. This ain't nothing to play with. The concussion stuff and the, the three concussions that he had, two of them documented, but everybody got eyes. Everybody ain't no fool. They know that first one was a concussion. Everybody within the know that first one was a concussion, too. So we count that one as well. Then he played four days later after the concussion, knowing everybody knows you need at least 30 days for real, for real. I know they do, you know, NFL week, one game, you know, somebody might be in touch protocol and they might play back, you know, the next day. But it really, truly, they need 30 days to be, you know, to be kind of, you know, just better off than, than at least a week, for real, for real, to be genuinely honest. But the four days turn around, and it's really three days because it's, you know, you haven't... Yeah, that was, that was as well. So, um, Teddy Bridgewater is still dealing with uh, this dislocated finger. So, they're going with uh, Skylar Thompson, who will be the starting quarterback the third string. So congratulations to the Georgia Bulldogs for uh, being uh, the two time back to back the National College Football Championship uh, in LA. It took place at uh, SO5 Stadium Bulldogs. 65-7 blowout win over the TCU. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Sexton Bennett had a total 343 total yards, six total touchdowns. And let's not uh, forget this man is 25 years old. Man among boys. Man among boys. Yo, he's 5'10". Was looking like he was 6'2 out there. Look, the road big out there. I'm like, oh, it's the age. He out there playing with them a little 19 and 20 year old, 25 year old grown man. He need to be in the league. Now everybody know he's gonna, be, you know, he's gonna be a backup. Now, like you know, he's not gonna be no starter like that. He lucky he could, he could be fighting for a starter, starting position. I don't think nobody's gonna. There ain't no nothing on the draft. They ain't hearing none of that. I mean, I know in the first round. Ain't nobody saying nothing like that. Maybe he like he get drafted in the second round, but maybe like third or fourth rounder. You know, for backup, third or fourth rounder. That's what it seems like. Nobody talked the first round, though. No, no, no. He's 25 years old playing against some kids. Come on now. Let's keep it a day. People that keep thinking of context and understand, dude, all right, we, we know what it looks like. We know what it is, you know. And you don't want to say analytics, analytics of that. We got our stats for you. What about that stat? Mm hmm. But yeah, uh, Reggie Bush, congratulations. Uh, USC running back. Uh, elected to the College Football Hall of Fame. Can't wait to get down to ATL and check out what they uh, did. You know, something nice for him in the Hall uh, yeah, that National Football, that National Football, the NCAA football, football Hall of Fame. Next to, you know, connected to the Chick-fil-A building all together. And uh, downtown Atlanta, Georgia. All of the days, you know, around the corner from, from the park, uh, you know, uh, living, living in the park, all, all that good stuff. Can't wait to go check them out. So he puts up in there. Uh, not in the Hall of Fame, but man, Kid Newton, he got like a little display out there. It was beautiful. They, they had put that out there recently too. Not not real recently, but what happened, you know, from the, the first time that I went. Well, not the, you know, this is a long story. But 
I can't wait to see the uh, Ricky Bush is in there too. That, that, that's good. Man, this is fun, man. I got hated. You ever got five minutes? You gotta get up out of here. Man, so much to go, so much been going on since this last weekend. Just so much took place just to from last Thursday to, to, to this Thursday. And we still got more, more to do to get to. Man, I tell you, I tell you. Walker, number seven from the Packers. I gotta say this, man. You, 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 you gotta be ashamed of yourself. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. I need to get that out. You ain't gonna put some trainer in. Sounds like what we're going through right now. He, he trained to come on to the field to make sure the guys are okay. And then, and, and then the, the Packers got, yeah, that's what I You definitely should have lost. You know, um, a line player were hurt. And then the trainer come on and tend to the field. And especially with this took place last Monday, we know how critical, how important these trainers are involved. Ain't gonna push for pushing. Bad luck, bad luck. You need to be suspended and fine. Normally, I want to be sustained. Guys need to be suspended and fine all that stuff. But the times like this, you need to be. We, we, we let you know. They I mean, they let you know. You can't be doing that. This is serious. But the point point, like, these trainers, you know, they, 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 any medical staff, these medical people that's coming on the field and, and telling these players, don't, don't play with them. They, they're not a part of but just helping an injury, help saving a life, whatever the case may be. So let's not do, you know, maybe the fifth, could, what, I believe you get some fining and get suspended if you put your hands on the official and stuff. And, and, and players fighting and everything, this is a bit, but this 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 needs to be uh, at a more heightened level. So that's my take on that, and uh, um, it's my quick bar about that. And I got so many games to, to recap that I, I can't even get into. NBA Navy 130, 114 over the Hawks. We, we took care of business, did, did, did the thing with Brian James, you know, was, was, was going up. Bulls 126, uh, 112 over the 76ers. Hornets 138, 109 over the Bucks. Nets 108, 102 over the Pelicans. Magic 115, 101 over the Warriors. Bulls 126, 118 over the Jazz. Uh, their favorite signing today contract was the ATL. Lakers 136, 134 over the Kings. Clutch when we needed that to win five straight. Then the LeBron James gonna want to talk his talk, saying that we went five straight and we were we feeling good, all that stuff. They didn't want to go sit out the next game. No one can get Joker. No one down AD. No one that the Joker. We need somebody to play against his big body. We don't, we don't have no big man other than Thomas B. And, and, and he's not no center for it. Like that was some some BS that he did. I did not like that at all. He want to hype us up and, and talk all that good stuff, and then he want to have the nerve to miss the miss, miss the next game. So you knew we wasn't gonna make it six straight. You knew it wasn't going to be six straight. No Lonnie Walker, no Austin Reed, no AD, no you. Like, come on, man. I can just keep going. And the roster's not even that good to begin with. Man, y'all gotta got me in fun. Yo, y'all gotta tune in to more First World Sports Show, social media platforms, uh, YouTube, Instagram. So much going on, so much to address. Because, of course, we lost that game to, 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 to the Nuggets. And, of course, we lost that game to the Nuggets. Um, Hawks 112, 108 over the Clippers. Nets 102, 101 over the Heat. Grizzlies 123, 118 over the, over the Jazz. That game that we lost was 109, 122 to, to the Nuggets. Uh, Suns uh, 125, 113 over the Warriors. Uh, Steph Curry's first game back from injury. And they had all, all their starting five squad in the unit. I think they were down there playing everything. And, and, and the Suns was under me. They had Booker out. They had, Bo they had Booker out. They had Aiden out. They had, man, they had Booker out. They had Aiden out. They had Paul out. They had the other guys out. They had like five players out, and, 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 and man, I tell you, that was not a good look for them. And the Warriors lost at home. On top of that, man, this is unbelievable. Lakers, you gotta get it tonight versus versus the Mavericks. You gotta get that one tonight versus the Mavericks. We gonna let this cook, let it marinate, let it bubble up. We got so much to get into. NFL Wild Card Card Weekend, and I got a special event coming up April fifteenth. I want to tell the, uh, the audience about it. This this local community actually uh, about it more. Next episode next Thursday six p.m. Fresh Sports Sports Show Thursday six p.m. to seven p.m. But I got a Fresh Sports Sports Show live audience April fifteenth two thousand twenty three. Pull up. I'm gonna come tell you more about that weekend and week out on the Fresh Sports Sports Show. 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. on live to the um, Exit Channel. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, check out some local high school sports uh, this weekend. I'm going to post the Duke Real Tech Sporting Game. Your congratulations to Josh Vega on the nomination for the um, um, McDonald's All American. Congratulations.